Hi Libra friends, welcome to your March love reading. This is going to be for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising. Uh, I do a love video every month for each zodiac sign and I do a mid-month update for those of you who don't know. And then every single week I do a weekly forecast for money, career, uh, spirituality, family stuff, all the other important parts of your life. So those are done weekly. You can check that out for your sign on this channel after this video if you would like. But this video would be about love for our Libra friends. Let's see what's happening here with you, Libra. Libra, I'm getting ready like you... I'm getting ready. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm getting ready because I'm kind of with your energy. Uh, in your energy, I feel like some of you are getting ready to take a really big leap of faith when it comes to love. Some of you may even be traveling. You know, I, I, I'm feeling like I'm on an airplane. Um, but we're going to see. We're going to see what's coming up for you guys in love for the month of March. For our different friends in your different situations. Okay, so. Let me go ahead and pull five cards. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then we'll pick an angel message card from a different deck after we look at these guys here. So you've got three of earth coming up, my darlings, uh, as kind of your foundation or your starting card for the month of March. So three of earth is going to let us know that you guys are really beginning to do something really significant here. Um in 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 your love life in terms of commitment or planning a future with somebody this is very very stable energy you might not be 100 percent decided on a person or on the next move of a current relationship but it's beginning to become a lot more serious it's beginning to like take shape take form um this is very interesting, Libra. Very, very interesting. Because it's not typically a meaning that I associate with Three of Earth. But it's just coming in from Spirit for a message for some of you. Some of you are in a situation where there's been some kind of disagreement. Maybe even a misunderstanding where you feel like uh, your love interest or your partner or your lover has lost respect for you or you've lost respect for them something but it feels to me like it's connected to some kind of an event right like something happened some specific event happened and after you know this event um you know there could just be like um I'm trying to think of how i want to say it in english um uh, in my language, we have we have an expression like somebody <laughs> let, 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 like they messed up so bad. They tripped up so bad. They're not even like on your eye level, like they're, they're they're beneath from like your scope of vision. Like that's how that's how much they've fallen from grace. So it could be pretty significant. Like some of you would just have a situation where you just you feel very disappointed in someone or they're feeling disappointed in you but with this three of earth i'm feeling like someone is redeeming themselves so either you're realizing that maybe you misunderstood something about your love interest or you know your partner or your lover or whatever what whatever it may be whatever label you have on that or um or if they were looking at you in that way you're redeeming yourself like they're realizing that maybe they had it wrong or that they're they're maybe being too hard on you so there's something happening where somebody is saving face not just saving face but i feel like the truth is coming out and there's a there's a um an apology even like i'm sorry i didn't believe you or i'm, I'm sorry that i um jump to the gun or that i made assumptions or whatever it might be but i feel like there's this coming together again and then being able to focus on moving past it just moving into the <coughs> excuse me moving into the future and um you know putting this uh misunderstanding and unpleasant time behind you 
next we have four of air this is really interesting now i did see libra as i was connecting with your energy i was feeling like i was on a plane four of air could mean a temporary separation in a relationship for some of you it could be taking a time out while you're trying to like plan things or figure things out but for other ones of you it could just be that you're not breaking up but you're not geographically together like you're not in the same place on the map you know one of you might be here one of you might be there so maybe some of you are beginning to travel for work or maybe libra i feel some of you are traveling looking for a place to get settled to, to get stable so you might be visiting a different state um, you might be traveling to look for work somewhere else or you may begin looking for work in a different state or a different country. And so through there, things might move forward fairly quickly where you're having to travel and you're spending time apart or you're spending time away from your loved one. Some of you are very nervous about this happening. You know, so maybe for some of you, you're not the one traveling. Maybe the person you're getting to know is letting you know, hey, I'm going to be traveling for work or I'm thinking about moving to such and such place. If you do have that kind of situation happening where somebody is approaching you and saying, hey, I'm thinking of moving, they're most likely planning on asking you to join them um, once things are figured out and stabilized. And maybe they don't have the guts to tell you that or ask you that right off the bat. So it could be where they're just trying to figure out from you what you would say about that place. Like if somebody was to say, hey, I'm thinking of moving to Wisconsin. I'm just like throwing something out there. Like they would maybe be wanting to just hear and see what you would think about that. Oh, that's cool. Or, you know, Wisconsin. Yeah, I've heard great things. I would love to move there. Or no, why would you ever move there? I, I would never live there or whatever. I kind of feel like for some of you, someone is trying to get your reaction and you're feeling all sad. You're feeling all like you're feeling like all butthurt. Like, oh, they want to... They're just talking about leaving, but really they maybe haven't worked up the nerve to, to tell you, hey, you know, I, I, I think I, I, you know, we might have something, we might have potential, I might be moving, like, would you consider moving? Like, would you consider starting a life with me? So for some of you, you have a person who maybe has not like laid that out for you yet, but they're preparing to lay it out for you. But for other ones of you, four of air could just be that you're just maybe not breaking up with somebody, but taking a step back to rest because you've been through so much. Um, especially with four of air, it could be resting the mind. It could be just being mentally and emotionally exhausted more so than physically. So maybe some of you Libras are just needing to just disconnect for a little bit, take a little bit of a time out. You know, take this breather, recharge your battery, and then be able to, um, you know, move forward again. I think that there's a big decision coming up for you, Libra. It's a big decision coming up. And so, therefore, you're maybe taking some time to really think things through and clear your head. Some of you are having to decide between several options. Several options. Uh, more than one of these options will be... Uh, a, a potential partner so you have a couple of different people that you're choosing from but you're also choosing between like um you know career goals or life goals or personal goals or freedom goals and relationship goals so you have a lot of thinking to do libra a lot of thinking to do because you have many options available to you right now and here we have nine of air and nine of air is going to be a card where there's some anxiety, there's some fear, like you're thinking of all of the things that might go wrong, you're thinking of all of the things that could potentially be a problem. Um, you're really getting ready to take some really big steps here in your life and really start laying down a foundation and creating a home, creating a home for yourself, creating a home with, with, you know, somebody special. And so as you're moving forward, or some of you are already in a home with somebody, right? But you're thinking about your next steps. Maybe one of you, like you're thinking of moving, um, selling a house, buying a house, um, you know, getting established in, in, in a new place or, you know, taking the next step and having a kid or whatever it might be, depending on what path you're on and what stage of your journey you're on in your life. 
and nine of air lets us know that you might be having a lot of anxiety around that decision whatever it may be you may have a lot of anxiety around it and spirit's trying to remind you that a lot of the things that you're worried about might not even happen and even if they do happen there's a solution for pretty much everything under the sun you know we have this uh, woman here on this card and she's kind of you know on top of that little rock <laughs> way up high in, in in the sky mountaintop or whatever what have you and uh she's just kind of standing there and she might be like trying to keep her balance hoping that she doesn't fall but she doesn't realize that she's got these wings and she's not stuck there. She can take off and she can fly off to anywhere she wants to be. And Spirit's trying to communicate to her. Spirit's showing her these birds flying around her like, Hello, notice anything? See anything we have that you have? Wings, hello, wings, look at us, we're flying. And so she's just kind of still there. So pay attention right now because this is letting me know or this is giving me a sense or a feeling, Libra that spirit is trying very hard to communicate to you to give you signs to show you answers and solutions to current situations so meditate on that and ask them to help you to see help you to realize what it is um, that would be helpful for you in the current situation next we have queen of fire okay so some of you may be dealing with a fire sign some of you could be a fire sign who are cross watching to figure out what's going on with your Libra boo? Um, you can let me know in the comments who you are if you wanna, if you want to, uh, uh, you know, put yourself on blast. But uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be that as a situation. It could just be where some of you have fire in your moon or in your rising, or you're just kind of being called out into that Queen of Fire energy. Um, I think especially since it's being fo uh, following the Nine of Air card, Nine of Air with so much of an anxiety and worry, and here you are like planning a life or preparing to take steps so that you can plan a life that could be worry or concerns about money. And so it's being followed, that worry card is being followed by Queen of Fire. And I think that's really beautiful because Queen of Fire is someone who came from nothing and really came up okay like she didn't have anything she didn't have anything and everything she has she worked for very hard she didn't become queen out of like you know birth she became queen out of her accomplishments and rising up and and being generous towards others and helping others and they're like well we want you to be our queen like that's kind of the the, the energy here with queen of fire okay like she may not be royal by by bloodline but she's royal by her the way she carries herself and her courage and her bravery uh some of you are really being encouraged to realize and pay attention to the talents that you possess and to your skills and abilities and you're being let know your spirit's letting you know that if you step forward in that confidence and move forward you're going to create a lot of opportunities for yourself that's going to bring a lot of solutions for whatever you feel has been holding you back in love life especially if one of your main concerns have been finances here because queen of fire is very good with that and queen of fire she's funny she's confident she's passionate she's sexy but she's also very humble okay also very humble so some of you are encountering this kind of a person coming into your life those of you who are single or who have been single for a very long time um you know you're coming into that 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 bold energy or like you're getting your groove back so to speak um and for some of you some of you you're becoming the queen of fire some of you are meeting the queen of fire okay we'll put it we'll put it that way your next card here is seven of earth so this is putting in the work to work on this relationship a lot of you were afraid or maybe you know your, your partner was afraid but ultimately you guys are deciding to do this to work on this to make this happen like let's just do it let's commit to this let's make it happen let's stay on top of things let's uh you know plant something stable here i mean seven, seven of earth it, it, it's a lot of work it's a lot of work but uh it will eventually pay off 
it will eventually pay off. So some of you are preparing to take some kind of uh, um, commitment here or some kind of task on your shoulders to ensure a relationship or to see a relationship through. All right, let's see what your angel message is, Libra, for the week, uh, for the month ahead. I keep saying week because I do the weekly forecasts and I'm so used to saying that. But this is the monthly reading. And I will do a mid-month love update as well. Okay, Libra, I'm going to shuffle three more times. One. And I'll take a card off the top. Two. Three. Children. Your love life is being affected by children, Libra. So, um, either this is full-on physical kids that are already in existence. So, maybe, you know, you and your partner aren't seeing eye-to-eye -eye on how their children should be raised. Or maybe you or your partner have children from a previous relationship. And it's a little bit of a juggling act to figure out how it's going to work out moving forward as you guys are, you know, becoming more serious. For other ones of you, this has to do with maybe one of you is wanting to have a child, one of you isn't wanting to have a child. And for the majority of you, I feel there's some inner child work that's coming to the surface right now as we're shifting into this new season and we're preparing to enter into the springtime um it could be you know awakening that youthful energy in you and as a result you may be kind of having memories of your childhood uh those of you who have been feeling stuck in love the children card is really really a very strong indicator that spirit's working very hard with you to help you realize where your block is coming from when you formed it like when it happened remember with that nine of air card the lady was on top of the little mountain rock and the birds were flying around trying to like say hey you see anything here um i think for a lot of you spirits trying to give you messages or signs to help you realize and see how the love life can be healed and what maybe some childhood beliefs um, or developed that are that are hurting you in your love life or that are that are holding you back your eyes are being open and, and you're being able to see um, and for a lot of you it's like it's it's a big sigh of relief a big sigh of relief because you're realizing okay I'm not crazy or there isn't anything wrong with me or I'm not like you know slow i'm not a late bloomer here's where the block was here was where the obstacle was and now that it's being identified you're able to remove it and you're able to have these blessings coming in into your love life okay but overall i feel that a lot of you are breaking a cycle that you witnessed in your childhood maybe you made a promise to yourself as a kid that when you grew up, you know, if you were to have a relationship that you would do things differently. And I think a lot of you are being able to keep that promise to your inner child, to, to little you. Okay. So that's a beautiful, that's definitely beautiful. That's beautiful energy. Um, some of you, you may have a partner who's opening up and like they're letting you know that they're having memories from childhood, which might be explaining why they've been having certain behaviors or They've like kept you, uh, kept a distance from you for a while or whatever it might be. Um, but lots of inner child work happening in the month of March for you, for your partner. And these, these changes are coming about to help bring you closer and to help bring you a more fulfilling level of love, of romance. Again, check out your moon sign and rising sign videos because those are going to add additional information. Um, and check out the pick a card readings and the um other videos on the channel the weekly forecasts that are on the channel as well for like you know career and and all that other good stuff but overall libra i i feel like you guys are overcoming any commitment issues any self-doubt any insecurities 
I don't know, Libra. I, I, I'm not getting a whole lot of, like, marriage energy from you guys. Although, don't get me wrong, there might be somebody watching this right now who is married. Or there might be somebody watching this right now who's, like, engaged and already has, like, the venue and, and the dress and the suit and everything ready. Um, so there are some of you who are in that marriage energy. But overall, like, this whole thing of moving something new along, um, I'm not necessarily, like, picking up marriage. For, for those people but I mean I, I think it, it can definitely go there if you want it to right but you may be taking it slow you may be taking it slower than the other signs and that makes sense Libra because you guys like to analyze everything and you like to be very sure uh but you know there's definitely positive energy coming into love life for March I will do the mid-month update in a couple of weeks so keep an eye out for that thank you for subscribing liking sharing commenting thank you so much for being here Libra take care